Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about types of blood vessels. So the blood vessels form a closed circulatory route for blood to travel from the heart to the body and back. Uh, so it, it forms a closed circuit, a, a closed system uh, where the blood is being pumped out to the tissues of the body and returned back again, as opposed to the lymphatic system where it's not a closed circular route. Um, in that case, the fluid is being taken up from the tissues and becoming lymph. And then um, the vessels are only carrying that lymph back up to the heart again. Um, so that's a, a big difference between the lymphatic system and the circulatory system. Um, so the blood vessels form a closed circulatory route that are carrying blood back out to the body and bringing that back again. Uh, so we have five types of vessels, arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules, and veins. Technically, arterioles are a type of artery and venules are a type of vein. So depending on what source you're looking at, it might list these as five types, or it might list only three types, arteries, capillaries, and veins, where arterioles are a type of artery and venules are a type of vein. So arteries are the largest of the vessels that are going from the heart out away to the body. Um, so I wanna be very specific that most of our arteries are carrying oxygenated blood, but it depends on whether we are in systemic or pulmonary circulation. So if you just remember arteries away, uh, you get away from that issue. So arteries are always carrying blood away from the heart. And in some cases, so in systemic circulation, it's carrying oxygenated blood away from the heart out to the body. But in pulmonary circulation, it's carrying deoxygenated blood away from the heart to the lungs to become oxygenated. So in that case, those arteries are carrying deoxygenated blood, which is why I'm being so careful to specify that. Okay, so just remember arteries away. Arteries are leaving the heart whether they're carrying oxygenated or deoxygenated blood. Uh, so these are large vessels that initially emerge from the heart and then branch off into smaller and smaller arteries. And then eventually those smaller and smaller arteries branch off into even smaller ones that we would then call arterioles. So arterioles are smaller than arteries, or we could say they're the smallest type of artery. Um, and so they're also still carrying blood that initiated in the heart and they're carrying away from the heart to whatever their location is, depending on whether it's systemic or pulmonary circulation. Um, so there's small divisions of arteries. Once those arteries have already divided into smaller and smaller arteries, then they eventually are small enough that we call them arterioles. And then those arterioles, continue to divide and get smaller and smaller until we call them capillaries. So capillaries are the very smallest vessel and that is where we have capillary exchange, which I described in another video uh, where I talked about where lymph comes from. Um, so in the capillaries, we also refer to them as exchange vessels because that's where the fluid from the blood actually leaves the circulatory system out into the surrounding tissues and is taken back up again. So there was no exchange in the arteries or arterioles because the walls are much thicker so the fluid doesn't leak out. It's not until we get to the capillaries where the walls are so, so thin and we've got these microscopic little vessels that the fluid actually leaks out and comes back in again. So that's why we refer to them as exchange vessels. If there are no capillaries, there's no exchange taking place, even if there are arteries or arterioles. Um, so that fluid gets taken back up into the capillaries and continues on into venules. So that's where um, the capillaries, after they've had that exchange, the capillaries then start coming back together and forming larger and larger vessels. So the capillaries then join together and become venules, which are like the arterial equivalent, but of veins. So it's on the other side after the exchange has occurred in the capillaries. Okay, so the blood is carried from the heart into the arteries, which divide and get smaller and smaller into arterioles, which divide and get smaller and smaller into capillaries, which is where the exchange happens in the tissues. 
after that exchange happens, those capillaries join together and get larger and larger into venules. So carrying blood from where the exchange took place now on its way back to the heart to become oxygenated again, if we're in systemic circulation. And then those venules become larger and larger and join together and become veins. Um, so those are like the counterpart to um, arteries. So they're the much larger vessels that are carrying that blood back after there's been an exchange in the capillaries. Those are then going into the venules and then to the veins, which are returning back to the heart. So arteries are going away from the heart, veins are coming back to the heart. Now in systemic circulation, veins are carrying deoxygenated blood from the body after there's been an exchange and carrying that deoxygenated blood back up to the heart where it will become oxygenated again. The, in a pulmonary circulation, the veins are carrying oxygenated blood because it's returning the blood from the lungs where it just became oxygenated and it's returning that blood back to the heart again so that it can then be pumped out um, through arteries in systemic circulation. Okay, so arteries away, veins are coming back, and that is regardless of whether that blood is oxygenated or deoxygenated. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.